In the past few years, companies like Google and Tesla have been researching on automated and semi-automated vehicles. These vehicles include several automated systems such as adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, active steering, and automatic braking. While there are great benefits associated with the systems, three studies have brought to the attention of the users that there are as many concerns as benefits from them. These studies, done in two of the automated systems, present the ergonomic and psychological issues that this type of vehicles have. By comparing the performances of the users in different scenarios, the studies show that the mental workload while driving under automated conditions is greatly reduced and that keeping the car centered in the lane is more mentally straining than maintaining and adjusting the speed of the car. However, while looking at the psychological aspect, it was concluded that the workload can be relative to the user. Currently, Tesla and Mercedes have these types of systems in place in certain models. Both of these companies have a lane centering system, but the way in which it's implemented is quite different between the two. In the Tesla system, a visualization of what the car sees is displayed so that the driver can monitor its accuracy. All relevant information is combined into this one display on the instrument panel. The display itself of the road is a qualitative display, and the driver is required to use it to perform multiple check readings that compare the display to the physical road to determine the car's accuracy and what it senses. There is no auditory feedback of the car's status, which makes a lot of sense given the fact that the information is too complex to concisely convey in an auditory way. Also, drivers associate auditory prompts with emergency situations, which doesn't match well with check reading. Through this act of constant check reading, the driver is searching for a signal that would call for corrective action were the system to incorrectly steer the car. Comparatively, Mercedes cars with active lane keeping assist do not have any form of display. Instead, the car allows the driver to operate the car manually, but if the car begins to drift into an occupied lane, the steering wheel begins to vibrate. If the driver continues to drift, then the car actively engages the brakes on one side of the road to bring the car back to the center of the original lane. This utilizes a tactile feedback as opposed to a visual or auditory feedback. This interaction is more passive than the automatic steering system in the Tesla model, and it only activates reactively to driver's actions. In this way, the Mercedes system is more supplementary to the driver, and the Tesla system replaces the driver's role as operator. Automated and semi-automated systems are not only a factor for personal car use, but they also have industrial implications. The trucking industry is responsible for numerous accidents on the road. 87% of accidents involving semi-trucks are because of a driver-caused errors. Of these errors, the most frequent error is inaccurate driver decision. For example, driving too fast for conditions, misjudging speed of other vehicles, or following too close. The other major cause of accidents is inattentive driving, which is the number one reason for all accidents nationwide. The automated systems like adjusting cruise control, blind spot recognition, and automatic braking could reduce the number of accidents. In addition to avoiding collisions due to distracted driving, automated and semi-automated systems could allow the transportation industry to have more time on the road. This is because technology does not get tired or require rest and work cycles, which are currently in place to avoid drivers falling asleep on the road. When working towards the future of autonomous cars, there is a clear frontrunner in innovation and integration. Google's autonomous car division is making leaps and bounds with breakthroughs in their cars. Driving over 1.2 million miles in California and Texas, even allowing non-employees to ride in these cars. While driving all these miles, Google has been using their gathered data to input all possible circumstances a fully autonomous car would experience and need to adapt to into code. By allowing people to have a personal experience with their cars, they are also integrating the autonomous car into society to mitigate the shock of a full introduction of autonomous cars on the market. Concerns that have been raised include, how do you apply insurance and legislature to the autonomous systems? What will happen to jobs associated with traffic control and freight? And what about privacy when everything is automated?